Oh, you're awake. I was starting to worry. Where are we? I'm not entirely sure. It's not the Royal Palace dungeon, I think. Too orderly. Fort Draken, perhaps. That doesn't really bode well for us. The others are coming. Don't worry. Who do you think will come? I'm sure that Leliana will come for us. Oh, I wish I could see that. One person assaulting Fort Draken all alone. Well, Morrigan will probably come too. I hope you're right. State your business. We have come to perform last rites for a condemned prisoner. What for? Mother Augustine is already here. Let us pray, sister. Maker, forgive these godless souls. They know not what they do. Spare them your wrath, and do not torment them with boils, festering rashes, and lesions. Although they call into question you wish to show compassion to the wretched, do not deprive them of compassion when they are in need. All right, all right. Wait over there. I'll get the captain to let you in. <sighs> Maker's breath. Fate truly has a sense of humor. That tale should have fooled no one. Everyone trusts priests. It's only natural. If you believe that, you are a bigger fool than those guards. All right, what's this about? We have been sent to minister the chant for the prisoners here. How many priests does it take to pray for a handful of wretched criminals? Fine. I'm not one to argue with the chantry. I heard they all but emptied the palace stuff. This might be tricky. If you wish to plan, do it quickly. They may be taking the warden for execution as we speak. Mm -hmm. On trust day. What did you do? Come quickly, Warden, though I doubt you are inclined to linger. There you are. Follow me, the Arl is waiting for us. Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. We have been praying for your safe return, Warden. It's good to see you're all right, Anora. I was uncertain you would respond as you did, considering the consequences. I am glad you did. Thank you. Now, however, we must work together. And quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first. But he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat. Yet even now, I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Can he still take the throne without you? Perhaps. It will be more difficult for him, but if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. He is a legend. It's true. Our position in the Landsmeet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake Howe is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the Landsmeet, and there I can help. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the Landsmeet, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. And what of Alistair? 
I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough, and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already Queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan, I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denaran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close, all the same. Loghain is the only trouble I care about. Loghain is the problem at hand, yes. We need to do all we can to erode his support before we call the landsmate. What do you think he's doing in the alien age? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. I've got work to do. Of course. If I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the better. <laughs> You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. Your wish? So tell me more about your adventures. Again? Well now, what might interest you, I wonder? Shall I describe the stages involved with Lanthrax poisoning? I watched a man go through all seven once. If you like, certainly. No, I'll not inflict that upon you just yet. Let's see, how about the largest battle I ever took part in? That would have been the slaughter of Prince Azrin. Did you hear of that down in these parts? You killed a prince. Me? Not personally, but I did take part in the attack. Prince Azrin was fourth in line to the throne, you see. He started off as 11th, but worked his way up the old-fashioned method by inheriting control of an entire Crocelle from his grandfather. After assassinating his way through the royal family, the king hired three other cells to take down Prince Azrin once and for all. I was in one of those cells. Is this sort of thing common in Antiva? Antivan royalty is very much bound up in the crows. You wouldn't want it run by a bunch of commoners, after all, would you? And this means they get involved in politics quite often. This particular fight nearly bankrupted the nation, I understand. It almost ended up putting a crow on the throne, a commoner. But that's a whole different story. I played a very small part. What did you do? 
My part in the entire battle was taken up trying to reach Princess Ferina, who had thrown in with her brother. I killed about 11 of her guards personally before I got knocked out of a window. I landed in the river and nearly drowned. I was fished out by some urchins who robbed me blind. Made off with my boots, too. At least they didn't cut my throat. And that was my part in history. You got robbed by urchins? Mm. I had to find my way back to the safe house, bruised and naked, and thankful to be alive. But there you go. Tale told. Let's be off before I tell more embarrassing stories, huh? Do you feel homesick for Ozama yet? Aye, I do. A bit. A little bit. Do you ever want to go back there? The only way I'd go back is if they all lined up to kiss my ass and didn't care if they lost their cast for doing it. <laughs> hmm. Actually, that might be nice. Yeah, but I can't go back now. I'd rather die than be castless in Orzammar. Yeah, I guess I'd rather be a useless lump of a dwarf out here than a useless lump of a dwarf back there. I don't find you useless, Ogren. Nice of you, Warden. But I know what side of the house the Lou is on. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Have you changed your mind about Leliana and me? I have watched you for a time, and perhaps I was wrong. There seems to be something special between the two of you. I think she feels she's truly found her place with you. That after all her wanderings, she's finally home. I feel the same way. I think I was too harsh in my judgment before, and I am sorry. Apology accepted. What you have may not last forever. Death and duty may part you, but love's worthiness is not diminished because of that. I should have seen this before. Instead, you learn to cherish every precious moment that you spend together, knowing that it may be the last. And for those of us watching, well... It brings warmth to these old bones, to know that something so beautiful can be found in the midst of chaos and strife. So, you're female. I had no idea. I did not think it needed to be said. It has never told me what gender it is, has it? I am not made of rock. And if it was, perhaps its gender would have been more obvious. The truth is that whatever gender I was is irrelevant now. I am a golem. I have no gender. It will not become an issue. You're just cuter than before. Weird. Right. I catch it staring at my behind and I will feel very awkward. Now, let us crush something soft and watch it fountain blood. That is a girlish thing to want to do, yes? Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. Did you know Duncan very well? We went through our joining together, more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only way he ever let himself down. I was hoping I could learn a bit more about Grey Wardens. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. Have you ever been to the fortress in Wise Hopped? Once only, and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lad. And very foreign. The Wardens there, they fight darkspawn like you and me. But they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. Why has it been so long since the last Blight? Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the Darkspawn, tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, 
It must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them, and it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. I guess that's all for now. The important thing to remember is, none of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. First, let me say that I knew your family. Eleanor, in particular, was dear to me. And what Howe did was unforgivable. How fitting he died at your hands. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. Why should I support you? For years, I have ruled this kingdom as Caelan's queen. As much as they loved Caelan, all of the Banon knew this to be so. Caelan was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. I need your support, Warden, and you will need mine. You think you are a better candidate than Alistair? Do you disagree? You are a fellow Grey Warden. What do you think of Alistair's potential to rule, never mind his willingness? Being a good ruler requires more than ambition. Alistair seems like a kind, well-meaning man, and biddable enough. These are admirable qualities, if not kingly ones. He also seems to be a fine Grey Warden, which is exactly why he should remain one and serve the kingdom by defeating the Darkspawn. Just how do you know so much about him? Caelan knew of Alistair. It was Arl Eamon that kept Alistair out of the courts, as Merrick had desired. Oh, there are some who would follow Alistair out of respect for his therian blood, the others would see this as Eamon grabbing for power. Who else do you think Alistair would turn to for help? Eventually, the nobility would return to the old days of constant warring with each other. Alistair's weakness would destroy everything Merrick built. You don't seem to like Alistair much. My feelings towards Alistair have nothing to do with it. I barely know him. I simply believe that I am what this country needs. I will fight for what I believe. Would Alistair do the same? Thus, I say again. I would welcome your support for the throne if you would give it. I don't think I'm as important as you believe. No? You're a Grey Warden, and despite the fact that my father will paint himself as the only one who can protect the country from the Blight, it is not so. Secondly, you saved Arl Eamon from a plot that no doubt had its origins in Hal's sick little mind. People will not forget that. You are competent and powerful, and in the right place at the right time. Used to your advantage, these things could bring you far. Are you proposing an alliance? That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. What happens to Logan if you are queen? He is my father, as well as a great general, who has served his nation well until now. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. Justice must be done, don't you think? I will always be my father's daughter, but even I know he must pay for his crimes. It will not make me glad, even so. Does that affect your decision? Can we yet come to an arrangement? Why not simply marry Alistair, the best of both worlds? Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. But it is true that Alistair has their own blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? 
I think I could convince him. Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. I will speak to him then. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. You still don't want to be king. I'm not a political man. I like being a warden. There's real evil out there, and it's something we can fight. It's something we can defeat. Making laws, settling disputes, that's not me. I wouldn't have the first idea how to do it. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just to let it happen? I think you should marry Honora. Marry her? As in marriage? As in be her husband? You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy! She can rule while you lead. It's perfect. I... suppose... I don't know how much of a leader I am, but at least I know she's a good ruler. Go ahead, then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Uh, excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? He's agreed to your terms. He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaelin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. If it will truly help matters... Is this it, then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Marry Alistair, and you have my support. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? No, oh, I should go. Then I wish you luck, Warden. Whoever you are, I... Wait. I know you. Poor Oswin obviously didn't recognize you. He described you in great detail, but never mentioned you were a Kuzland. I owe you his life. Who are you? You see me at a loss. I suppose I have yet to recover from the shock of seeing Oswin. I am Ban Sigurd of the Dragon's Peak Benorn, and I owe you a debt of gratitude for your kindness to my son. Is there anything you would ask as a reward for saving Oswin? All I want is for you to speak out against Loghain. Thank you again. Know that I will stand behind you at the lands meet with all the support I can muster. In fact, I am taking my supper today with Van Reginelder of the White River Benorn. I'll speak with her about this at once. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my Uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? What's going on? What's wrong, Shem? Did you get bored and decide to come watch the elves die of plague? These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though. All the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my Uncle Sirian, and Valendrian? If there's a plague, why are people out in the street? These men from Tevinter say their magic will prevent people from catching it. 
but it doesn't work if you're already ill. So they set up a quarantine. But many of the ones they quarantine aren't sick. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. What's a Hiren? He's... He's the Elder, the person who guides us. Maybe that doesn't mean anything to you, but it's important to us. I'll try talking to the healers. You can try. Those guards mean business. I ask you to stand back. Some of these people are carrying the plague. The alienage is not safe for visitors. Is there some way I can help? That will not be necessary. For your own safety, we must ask you to leave now. Oh, this place is full of plague victims. No one enters. I want to see someone in there. It is not safe. You would be exposed to the plague. Can't I get this protection spell the elves are getting? There's no need. The elves must live here where the plague is spreading. You can avoid the sickness merely by leaving the alienage. It would be a waste of our mage's strength when many need it more. Get out of my way, or I'll go through you. To arms! Protect the hospice! out of here how do I know you don't have the plague I swear not one of us is sick they take the sick ones out as soon as they come in please help us I'm getting you out of there thank you friend where's Valendrian they took him away already through the back alley we don't know where exactly you should get out of here you don't have to say that twice. What happened? Some of the elves ran out, but I didn't recognize any of them. Where are all the others? They were the only ones inside. How is that possible? They've taken dozens of us into quarantine. Where else could they be? It makes no sense. I found this note. Let me see that. What does this even mean? They can't be shipping people, can they? Shipping them where? Have you seen them bring anything out of the hospice? No. People go in, but they don't come out. They aren't shipping anything out of there that we've seen. They could be moving through the back alleys. There are all sorts of buildings back there. They could be using one as some sort of warehouse, staging area. There was a key with the note. There are apartments off the alleys. I would go to the back of the hospice and maybe follow the alley from there. If you find any more information, please let me know. I refuse to accept that they're all simply... gone. There he is! Now, no crowding. Let the good sir breathe. There are a lot of unfortunates in the alienage, sir. Many uh, veterans, orphans, the diseased, and sad tales of all sorts. I still don't have my parents. Yes, sir. And poor Oli still doesn't have his parents. Anything you can spare would be appreciated. The whole lot of you beggars? After the riot, many people were left without a home, sir. Don't have a copper between us. You're like a hero here, good sir. Oli and I hadn't eaten for a week before you showed up. Even that fellow with the fine outfit? I, uh, found it? You aren't a real beggar. All I heard was there was free coin over here. Fine. Every one of us. Except the one you rightly pointed out. All of us are unfortunates. Someone has to help you. Oh, huzzah! Huzzah for the hero of the Denerim! All of us are eating tonight! What's this? Another shipment already? We weren't... Wait. 
You're no Tavinta. Who are you supposed to be? I'm looking for the missing elves. Quick, get them, hurry! Told that there would be no interference from the authorities. No interference in what? What is going on here? You simply fought your way in here to ask questions, did you? You will regret this, you know. Believe it or not, we've been given dispensation to do our business here. You Ferelden's talk a great deal about how very wrong slavery is. But isn't it funny how quickly the smell of gold overcomes such ideals? You're an elf! How can you be part of this? So I should feel kinship for these sheep? Don't be a fool. I am Tevinter first, and a servant of the Minrathu Circle second. Those are the things that matter. You can't just take people from their homes and... and sell them. It's despicable. But enough. I am here to halt your slaughter, nothing more. I'd certainly like to see you try. Let us finish this, then. I intend to see you pay for the damage you've done here. Ah, I am Caladrius, and you, I assume, must be the Grey Warden I've heard so much about. Get to the point. What do you want? What I want is for my business here to be concluded smoothly. If that requires that you and I come to some terms, then so be it. You honestly think you can bribe me? I've heard that you're trying to erode Logain's support. It must be a difficult task, yes, like washing away a mountain. Perhaps you could use some help. Oh, this should be good. Sarcasm is beneath us both, my dear Warden. Truth be told, there was always a limit to how long we were going to be able to operate here. We've paid for many of Logain's troops, but once the land's meat is done, we become inconvenient. So, here is my offer. One hundred sovereigns from you for a letter with the seal of the Terran of Guaren upon it, implicating him in all of this. Then, we leave a few days earlier than planned with our profits and remaining slaves unharmed. It is a reasonable enough starting offer. I feel dirty. We're not considering this, are we? So, do we have a deal? Even you must admit it's much better than resorting to barbarism, yes? I have a counter-offer. Interesting. My offer is this. I kill you and take everything for free. Oh, a comedian. Let's settle this the hard way, then. Seems your reputation 
is an accurate one. I surrender. Surrender? I don't think so. No, wait! Hear me out, kind sir. Were I to use the life force of the remaining slaves here, I could augment your physical health a great deal. Allow me to leave this place alive, and I would be more than happy to do this little service for you. Hmm. An interesting offer, if a tad messy. Uh, so, is my offer of interest to you, yes? No, it isn't. Uh, then, um, I don't suppose you would consider just uh, letting me go? No, I don't suppose I would. Ah. Well, that is a shame, isn't it? You don't look like a Tevinter. Not that it means much. Are you one of them? What happens to us now? Are you Valendrian? Shiani was looking for you. Shiani? Did she send you here? Praise the Maker! We will not trespass long on your good graces. Come, everyone. Let's go home. Ah, it's you. Welcome. Please, come in. Tell me, how is Duncan? You know Duncan? He's been a friend of mine for many years, yes. From the look on your face, I take it the news is bad. He died at Ostagar. I am sorry to hear that. I knew that the Warden suffered great losses at Ostagar. But a few escaped. I, I had hoped Duncan might be one of them. How did you know Duncan? He came here, now and then, to look for potential recruits. Perhaps that seems strange to you, but Duncan was a man who knew that talent could emerge in the most unlikely places. What will you do about the plague now? We've been through outbreaks of pestilence during the war with Orlais. We'll endure. I doubt very much now that the Tevinter intervention would have helped us anyway. I should go. Please, take this. Duncan gave it to me years ago. I suspect you'll put it to better use than I would. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Logan was collaborating with a Tevinter slaver. Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Logan. We must end the civil war quickly. What the Blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the Landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. What comes, my friend? So Flemeth is dead. What now? Now I have enough time to study Mother's Grimoire to find a way to prevent her from stealing my body in the future. For she will be back. One day, I have no doubt of that. And if I cannot protect myself, one day I will track her down again in whatever body she inhabits, and she will die again and again if need be. But there is no need to think of such things now. I have you to thank for saving me, so let us return to the task of dealing with the Darkspawn, no? You know you can always rely on me, right? You... Too much could happen in days to come to make such promises. Yet, I am grateful. Let us go. There is much to be done before... There is still much to be done. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Well, aren't you sweet and attentive? We need to talk. Of course. What will you do when this is all over? Hmm... I have not given this a lot of thought. What will I do? We've traveled far and wide. Does it need to end? I would like to see the world too. There's so much out there. 
adventures to be had and stories to be told. I want to be part of it all. I might need some company. And you're not too irritating. You're welcome to come along if you like. When you put it that way, how can I say no? It is settled then. You and I wandering the world, seeking our fortunes. I can't wait.